How's it guys? My name is Bradley Stain. I am originally from South Africa. I live north of Los Angeles in Ventura County, California, in Southern California. I went to a Black Lives Matter march in Los Angeles uh, after George Floyd was murdered and had the life squeezed out of him by a, uh, a cruel police officer. Um, and Breonna Taylor had her door kicked down with a no-knock warrant. I uh, decided to go join a Black Lives Matter march. I haven't been to a march in many years. Last time I went to a march was in apartheid South Africa um, whilst working. I joined this march uh, so that we can stand with the rest of our brothers and sisters, people of color, blacks across the United States so that um, you know we can address uh, restorative justice and uh, find reconciliation and we can put in place um, policies for the police to adhere to in these situations uh, where um, uh, police are are put to task to do their job effectively and efficiently. I was shot in the genitalia um, at a Black Lives Matter rally and I, uh, I had to go to hospital and um, I was sutured internally and externally, internally to repair my testicle and externally to repair my scrotum. I'm the re I might have said this already, but the reason I'm doing this video is to update people on um, how I'm doing. So thanks for listening so far. I, besides the physical debilitating pain, and yeah, it is as sore as you are imagining it to be. The uh, mental pain is of of the show of hatred hatred between the law enforcement community and our citizens is also a very remnant of apartheid South Africa's pain and abuse towards uh, its citizens. Uh, that's what I'm struggling with the most. So it's, it's, it's very painful. It keeps me up at night. I, f I can't sleep. I feel like a wounded dog. And um, it's after many years of getting that under control, this PTSD has resurfaced, resurfaced itself through um, witnessing the pain and terror laid on by the law enforcement communities with its um, with its protocols. So. Uh, Besides that, I've also found out that I might be facing criminal charges and I need to retain a criminal attorney. Um, I also wanted to take a moment and thank you all so much for contributing to my GoFundMe page. Uh, I, I, from the bottom of our hearts, you know, thank you so much. We, um, you know, we're just a working class family trying to... Um, Trying to stand up for what's right here. So, uh, if you can help, uh, please help. Please visit my GoFundMe page. I am still actively involved. I'm working um, with, uh, I, I'm supporting and I'm trying my best to help AB, California AB Assembly Bill 66 go through, which, um, you know, monitors police's use of projectiles and so-called less lethal, which are deadly um, um, equipment that they, they can use it um, at police protests and, and, and where protesters are showing up. So, but yeah, thank you so much to all of you and for all the kindness and all the well wishes from all over the place. Um, 
I really appreciate it. If you can, please share this video. My name is Bradley Stain, and um, yeah, God bless and be safe.